Hey guys, this is Charles from Indie Game Hustle, and in this video, I wanted to do a kind of a quick tutorial on really using Game Creator. Um, I wanted to really just show how simple it was that uh, you can get your character or get a character up and running inside of uh, Unity uh, pretty simply, pretty quickly. So let's go ahead and do that. So obviously the first thing that you would want to do is download Game Creator and you do that by going to the Assets Store and here I go here, you just go ahead and search for that there. Uh, search Game Creator and head over to the uh, Game Creator, the foundational part. Now Game Creator has, um, as you can see, let's see here, they have uh, different modules. You want to make sure that you purchase the one that simply says Game Creator. Um, they have things like shooter and inventory and behavior and dialogue here, etc., etc. And those are all great. Um, however, you're going to need a Game Creator in order to even utilize those modules. So you want to make sure you get that first. Um, of course, I'm assuming you've used Unity before and uh, you know how to install different asset packs. So um, just go ahead and download, purchase, download, import that into your uh, setup. All right. So once you do that, um, you want to go ahead and take a look at your interface. Now you're going to have something like a toolbar here. And this toolbar is going to give you things like triggers and conditions and actions, character and player character. You also have here in the toolbar at the top, your area where it says game creator. You can check for in updates. You have your tools section, module manager, um, and your preferences. And um, of course, we'll probably talk about these things um, in a later video, but this is designed to be quick. So with that said, let's add a character to our scene. So we need something to add the character to. I'm just gonna go ahead and select this uh, poly brush or I guess pro builder uh, cube here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and extrude this out or at least uh, expand that so we have something to put our character on all right so I'm going to do this intentionally I'm gonna select this object now you see this bar has all these different quick I guess tool tips go ahead and click the one with the diamond the green diamond so click that and as you can see you have a character in the middle of your scene but it's something else you might not have noticed as well when you add a character to the scene if you look at your hierarchy, your player is now um, a child of the cube. And we want to go ahead and take that out and put it there. So I selected that and did that intentionally just to show you that when you select an object and you hit one of these, it's going to affix or uh, make that a child of that object. So you want to try to do it maybe when you're not selected to something or just be mindful of that. OK. All right. Great. All right. So the next thing I want to do is go ahead and get my camera in place. So I'm going to just position my view here. I'm going to select my camera and I'm going to go to game object align with the view. Perfect. All right. And um, something else I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and turn off skybox and I'm just going to bring this color down to something like this. And so in the game view, it'll look something like that. So that works for me. All right. Perfect. All right. So other than that, we have that. Let's go ahead and hit play and see what we get just by a couple of clicks there. All right, so now that we've got that there, I'm just going to ahead and move the character around in the scene. And as you can see, we're already moving. That was easy. It makes it so easy for you. And um, so you can get up and running as quickly as possible. Um, and uh, I'm sure there's other tools and other uh, assets that do uh, very similar things but um, I found this to be uh, maybe just a really good simple solution easy to understand for me so I can get up and running and I just wanted to show you guys how quick it was to get the character moving around the space bar to get him to jump etc but it doesn't end there there's a few other things we can take a look at so if you select the player on the right side the player is going to have some components added to it and here, this is where you can kind of control different aspects of the player, like run speed and gravity and jump, etc. Now, a lot of these um, parameters can be adjusted using uh, using game creators, different actions. And so I find that super useful 
for triggers and different mechanics and and all types of things and we can get into that in the future but i just want to let you know it exists and so you can make changes to this during your game it doesn't have to be preset okay so for instance if you want to make it make the jump higher you can make it higher if you want them to do a double jump you can select double jump and they'll double jump if you don't want them to run you can turn it off and on during gameplay um, etc and it's just really useful and it's done really well now something else is important so this character is a default character right but you would probably want to put in your own unique player character so to do that you go ahead and select the player and you want to drag from your project into this area here where it says drop your 3d model made it really simple right so let's do that really quick so i'm going to go and find a asset that i use for testing um, i'm using this and let's go to maybe model character and i'll select the uh, female character here so i'm going to go to player and i'm going to click and drag this here okay and as you can see already in the scene view we already have that model selected and you're good to go and it's really just that easy for you to be able to get your character up and running now just bear in mind that you can't just model your character you're gonna have to rig the character right and so um, assuming you know how to do that um, if you don't know how to rig a character, there's plenty of videos out there for you to learn how to do it. Um, I use Blender, um, but you can also use a website by Adobe uh, called uh, Mixamo or Maximo, Mixamo, and um, that will give you the ability to do a basic rig on your character. Um, I don't know how accurate it is or if it's the best, but it can at least get your character rigged. And so that you can use it in uh, unity uh, to get you going okay now another thing that you would want to do is say well your character is there and it's moving but you might want to use the camera as well and setting up a camera with uh, game creator is actually pretty pretty easy it's pretty dope so let me show you so all you got to do is go to your toolbar here and select the camera icon and what it's going to do is actually create not a camera but a camera motor so I'm gonna have nothing selected and I'm gonna click camera motor all right and so this camera motor is going to connect to your main camera now when you do that it's going to have this hook script or component here with the camera controller script component here and if you ever have any issues or something's not working Keep in mind that you want to make sure that this here has your camera motor connected to it, right? All right, perfect. And so when you click on the camera motor, the camera motor gives you some options, right? Is this the main one? Because you can actually switch between camera motors as your game is uh, progressing, which is pretty nice. Um, you can change the type of camera it is. This is the adventure camera. Um, you can change it to something like fixed camera first person camera etc so let's take a look at what the adventure camera is going to do here so all right so i'm just going to go ahead and make it my main camera and let's go ahead and hit play all right so now that we hit play and we got our camera motor connected look at that so with that we can move around with the mouse and you can kind of change that in the settings whether you want it to automatically kind of move based on your place middle of the mouse or if you want it to be more of a drag a click and move you can do that it's already good to go we can zoom in we can zoom out it's really nice and so um, it's I really appreciate the simplicity of this and uh, it helps you again get your game going so if you wanted to start focusing on your levels and kind of seeing how long and how high it takes to get to the next position or jumping to the next level or whatever um, you can get your character going pretty quickly it's pretty nice all right so I'm gonna say that that's pretty much it for this I didn't want to draw this out too much I just wanted to show you how quick and easy you can get your character up and um, there's just a lot of things you can do to kind of customize this to your own liking 
and um, that's what's great about it it makes it simple so that's pretty much it for this video um, remember guys um, never give up in what you're doing there's always ways to do it um, everybody's blessed with different skills and different abilities for what they need to do just remember never give up and keep moving forward i'll talk to you later peace